Blow. Well, no cat cams, Oscar. What? Why is it like this? Oh, I'm on. I'm touching the wrong thing. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, someone got a tattoo? Hold on. I, let me reposition. Let me see your tattoo. Oh my goodness, Barnoom beer, holy crap. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Thank you for the support. <clears throat> How are you doing? Digital Hex with a tier two for a year. Dang, I kinda, I've been more open to a tattoo as of late, but I don't know what I would get. Uh, imagine Grimm's with the 11 months, that guy Tim with the five, Rose's Garden with the bits. The mouse is finally done the shipping. Oh wow, thank you. Ian of Earth with the nine months. Dumpy Daddy, oh no. When did I become Dumpy Daddy? <laughs> Rose's Garden, thank you for the 14 months, Josh. Osaurus Rex with the four. Mason Mendes, thank you for the gifted sub. Doing good? Nice. I'm doing good too. Today's gonna be a pretty chill day, I think. Yeah. If you were going to get a tattoo, when would you get it? I don't know when I would get it. I don't know, I've been seeing like nice pretty ones like around the wrist and, like maybe on the inner finger edge I don't know Probably won't get a tattoo but I don't like the idea of the permanence of it But I do I do appreciate nice tattoos Get your logo on your wrist? No, I don't think I would get my logo, that's a little I don't think I'd get my logo or anything keyboard related. <laughs> I don't want to be a walking poster for keyboards. Oh my, Mason Menzies. Thank you so much for the five gifted as well. Try out Inkbox? What's Inkbox? Inkbox. Yay. The hair looking faded? What do you mean? I just got this done last week. <laughs> I got it done last week. I've only showered... Was it last week? Yeah, this was last week. I've showered twice. Well, I've wa sorry, I've washed my hair twice since then. I still shower, but my hair I've washed twice. No, 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 I shower every day. I, I just, I meant my, my hair wash. Trina, hello, how are you doing? Oh, you haven't seen this hair, huh? No, the cat's left. No, I do shower. I swear I shower. It's just my hair I don't wash. Not every day anymore. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Fish biscuit. Thank you for 17 months. How are you doing? Johnsy's with a six. John, I still need to pay you for the food we grabbed. When are you going to stream? Fernandalian. Thank you for three months. A cow. Ooh, with the tier one. Kevin with the three. Jiro G with the six months. The gray looks good. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing, Mr. Mike? Do you style your hair with any products? Not at the moment. It's just, it's so, it's so dead and frizzy. It just kind of like, actually, you know, I washed this morning, so it's a little, yeah, but it, yesterday it will legit just stand up on its own. You need a protein treatment? I've been applying um, Olaplex and I bought this like leave-in conditioner. I'll pay you for a perm. I can't perm my hair right now. I, my hair might fall off if I got a perm. It do be looking green. What? It looks green? Maybe it's my color, my white balance. I think my white balance is probably off. Then. Olaplex is goaded, yeah. Uh, Inkbox is semi-permanent tattoo that lasts about two weeks. 
I see. I'll be doing mine like that next time I go in or similar to it. Nice. They do be looking green on stream. I'll have to, you know what? Let me check my mic. Shifted it slightly red. <laughs> you should try Crytox 205G0 as conditioner. Okay. Okay, buddy. Is that a Herman Miller trick? Yes, it is. That's a little better. I can't tell on my monitor. Anyways, let's get to today's segment. So today's stream is sponsored. Merch? No, not merch. We take a look at usually high and expensive custom, but today's a little different. Now fix the face. GG. You're eating at my GF's restaurant tomorrow, if I recall correctly. Wait, what? Tes testy culture? Are you trolling? I am going to a restaurant tomorrow. Your girlfriend owns it? With Jim? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mr. BTMC. Hello, how are you doing? Genshin streamer raid? Yeah, I heard. I heard Ed pivoted out of Osu. He's no longer an Osu streamer. He's a Genshin streamer now. How are you doing? I hear Ed's a, a popping off Genshin streamer now. <laughs> I unfortunately don't play Genshin though. Ooh, I might also be, I'm gonna be on Ed's stream next week. Next week? No, not next week. In about a week-ish, I'll be on Mr. BTMC stream. I'm gonna be sitting on his lap, doing all kinds of things, live on cam. Do you play any games in your downtime? I don't. Do you have extra switches? Well, depends on what switches you want. I do have a lot of switches. You guys want to see my switch collection? I'll show you guys my wire, my switch collection. Ed, you should come over to my place. You, I go to your place in a week, and then you come to my place. Maybe you can teach me how to play Genshin. I've never played Genshin. <laughs> or I can get some live Osu coaching. You have extra cats? I do not have extra cats. You will not touch this game? Why, that's so toxic. You play it. Why can't I play it? Genshin will steal your soul? Oh, they got me, man. It's a money sink. I mean, it can't be as bad of a money sink as he did. Why the name Teha? I had no choice, unfortunately. That's what my parents named me when I was born. So, yeah, I didn't really have a say in that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Korean name. 
Uh, welcome Raiders. Um, today we're doing a sponsor stream. We're taking a look at a relatively affordable keyboard at the moment uh, that just went live on Kickstarter three days ago. Let's do the unboxing. Now we're gonna check it out. See how good it is. Ooh, we got sent two models. Ooh, okay. Were you just never going to tell us you were Asian? What do you mean? He will need at least two cherry blacks? I think I have two cherry blacks. They're not lube though, but... How much is relatively affordable? Good question. Hi, Johnsies. Let's take a look at their Kickstarter page. Which I have right here. Oh my goodness, this scrolling is so slow. <clears throat> Oh my eyes. All right. This link here is available in the build command. Let's check out this video. Shh. Here. Listen. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? It's so compact. Yet powerful. Perfectly match with each other. Like magic. As they were born for each other. Which device do you use? A smartphone? Or a tablet? Classic Windows system? Or a Mac OS? Sleek. Slim. Smart. Prefer wired connection? Or do you like wireless? Change your favorite switches in a second. Whichever you like whatever you want. It's ready to offer the ultimate typing experience. EpoMaker NT68. Perfect for Windows. Oh shoot, it's EpoMaker? Wait, I've been saying EpoMaker my whole life. Oh, it's, it's EpoMaker, whoops. All right, this stream is sponsored, but I'm not gonna lie, video kind of kind of weird. <laughs> video kind of weird. Oh, okay, there we go. Our eyes are much better now. Ooh, okay. I gotta go now, bye. All right, this project, yeah, Nuka B, it's already raised $112,000. That's pretty crazy. And it went live three days ago. There's still 31 days left. 981 folks have already joined. Music a bit loud now, whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My B. Yeah. Who is even backing this? This is the power of mainstream. <laughs> yeah. So for all of you guys who complain about, you know, group buys taking a while and all that, imagine if you, I mean, let's take, let's take the, uh, the Vega for example, right? The Vega probably at least three times the amount per unit at least for a group by that was pretty big like the Vega. Like dealing with this much money is pretty scary. It's a big financial risk people don't realize individuals or vendors take on. Like this is a lot of money even for a vendor I would say. Oh, just having six figures. Imagine having six figures in your bank account. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> vendors and group by runners can just disappear. Vendors, group by runners can just disappear. Yes, that is true. Companies like EpoMaker can technically disappear too, but they haven't. Uh, this isn't the first product we've seen from EpoMaker. We've done some other EpoMaker sponsor streams in the past as well. Yeah. So I, I think I can say EpoMaker is here to stay. They've uh, had many successful product runs on Kickstarter so far. And let's check out their latest one. Slim, sleek, smart. 65% wireless magic mechanical keyboard with a multifunctional carrying case and invisible stand. Ah, this is why I wanted to take it on. Because, I mean, it is a pre-built, but it has this cover slash kickstand, kind of like the, uh, iPad thing. Jinx. Oh no, not like that. <laughs> um, 
what else what else what other marketing speak do they use mac and windows layout okay perfectly the invisible and fold away stand designs brings portability and comfort to your everyday work get ready to enjoy the unmatched joy of typing on a mechanical keyboard wherever you are slick and compact oh you can just place it over your mac like that okay uh plans of three devices Bluetooth 5.1, RGB, hot swappable with mechanical switches, customizable with software for Mac and Windows. Okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. They provide little like feet cut out depending on when you, whether you want to use it with your tablet, phone, or both. Uh, position two, work standing up. Hold up. That is not... Wait, who wants a keyboard angle like that? Who? Huh? That's gotta be at least like 30 degrees right there. <laughs> this, is, this is like the wrist breaker <laughs> that we showed off on the subathon. <laughs> okay, use without the base, sure. Yeah, oh, it's strong enough to use as a laptop stand. Interesting, and then you place your keyboard over it. Is it magnetic? How is it just sliding onto the the lap? Okay, we can test that out. I do have a laptop. It comes with a proprietary slim magnetic case. Okay, within seconds. Na, 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 na. Okay, ergonomic design. Sure. Seamless integration with your MacBook. That's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever placed my keyboard on top of my laptop like that. But I guess that's one way to use it. And then you still can use the trackpad. Uh, perfect for Windows. Built for gaming. FN plus Windows. What? Oh, that locks the Windows key. Okay, <laughs> I see. Da -da -da -da. Our sound is virtually invisible when... Because a lot of us, a lot of you guys ask about, you know, how to keep your keyboards clean. Having a cover is one way. Every night, I just put a microfiber cloth over my keyboard. Uh, especially because I have two cats and fur can get in pretty easily. So that, this is an interesting idea though, if more vendors started offering like actual form-fitting covers. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be as functional as this too. It can just be like a, a pretty, a, Acrylic one. Comes with Gateron regular switches. Ooh, Epo Maker proprietary chocolate switches. And Gateron low profile switches. Okay. Uh, comes with two versions, regular and low profile. Both are hot swappable. While the regular version can be swapped with three pin or five pin, the low profile can only be swapped with three pin. Huh, I wonder why the discrepancy. Oh, oh, I see, because it only uses low profile switches. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, RGB, da, da, da. whoa. I'm gonna guess this is probably just a rebranded Gateron switch. 
They say it's proprietary. We'll see. I think I will send this chocolate switch though. After studying the designs and flaws of most typical mechanical switches, we have developed our innovative switch mechanism. Our new and improved switch design helps reduce the physical wear on the switches while providing a smoother typing experience. What? Huh? Wait, you want... <laughs> Wait, as enthusiasts though, we want the wear. <laughs> the physical wear on the switch is what leads to a smoother typing experience. <laughs> I am curious to see what innovation this is though. I mean, it looks like regular Cherry MX design. <laughs> All right, regular version with GSA keycap. GSA, what is GSA keycaps? Continuing with our successful, we used PTF for NT. Uh, our premium PVT are made through thermal sublimation. Okay, so dies. We use GSA profile. Interesting. Uh, the low profile has a highly durable ABS keycap material. Okay. Uh, design with versatility. Okay. Uh, okay, these are all the switch options. Rose Brown. What are these names? Is Rose Brown even a thing? Hold on. What is Rose Brown? Oh, it is a thing. Oh, today I learned there is a Rose Brown. Interesting. Rose Brown, chocolate red, chocolate brown, chocolate blue, chocolate... S Why? Why? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Alexatos, hello. I don't know why they had to pre preface everything with chocolate. Okay, seems a little bit random, but if I had to guess, probably rebranded Gateron switches. Gateron low profile switches, okay. Uh, does it have any QMK or VIA support though? Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. That bottom row. Pledge at Super Early Bird for $89. Alright, $89 is the early bird discount if you guys can still get on it. Okay, featured in media. Who's reviewed this? I oh Hippio. That's really quick. 2021 August, 2021 September, 2021 shipping begins. All right, let's get to this. Wait, what? Erectionalism? What are you talking about? Let's start with this small bag first. Taste and plate. Thank you so much for two months. Oh, okay, these are the switches. Wait, what switch? I don't think this is their proprietary switch. I want that chocolate. These are none of their switches. Okay, we just gotta send regular Gateron Blacks. Just extra switches. Maybe I'll give these to a BTMC. He needed some extra switches. Okay, we're greeted with a card. No, they're not Nixies. <laughs> OP Blacks have milk? No, they're not OP Blacks. Hmm, which one to unbox first? This is the lighter. Eh, we'll, we'll do the heavier one first. All right, packaging. All right, tell this. Ooh, we got the chocolate brown switches. Okay. Okay. Maybe you can compare the chocolate switches to Gateron Blacks? Except I can't. Uh, I guess. Oh, chocolate brown. Okay, yeah, I can compare the chocolate brown. I can't actually. All right, we're greeted with a pretty, pretty nice and long instruction manual. Probably won't need this unless you want to figure out like their hotkeys by default. Let's see what what's in here. Ooh, we got cables. What?
This is so short. Oh, may maybe this is for the iPad? I can use this with the iPad. Maybe this is for the MacBook. Assuming you layer it on top, I guess. This is way too short though. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is for your mobile. This is not meant for your PC. This is... Let's try to use it how they intended. Oh, what is this? Let's open this up. Yeah, it's to put on top of your keyboard like these. Are these gasket strips? Huh, we just have these like white silicone. Okay, maybe I do need a reference to instruction manual. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. Uh, we've got some extra keycaps. If you wanna, if you care about the legending, you won't need those. Oh, here we go. We've got some extra chocolate brown switches. Oh, we got one of every color. Okay, this is the rose brown. The switch is pretty though. I do like the color. That's the rose brown. This is chocolate silver. Ooh, this is the chocolate brown. Okay, it does it does have the Epo Maker sorry, Epo Maker logo. It is branded on top. If I had to Are these lube? Hold on. Hold on. Let's enhance. It feels pretty smooth. I mean if if I had to guess, this is probably a Gateron switch. This is made at Gateron, I, I feel like. Key boss opener gang, yeah. Okay, this is the top housing. For any of you insane switch collectors out there, there's another brand of switches to collect. Epo Maker switches. Oh, wow. Wow. Hold on. There is a lot of lube. That's a lot of, oh my goodness. It's kind of greenish. It's not like a white lube. That's a lot. Is it lubed on the back? No. Okay, it looks like it's only lubed on the legs and the two sides. Uh, it's a little too much. It does coat it evenly, but it's a lot. Like you can see it clumping at the top there a little bit. This is quite a lot on the legs too. But it is even. Oh shoot. Okay, there's definitely lube on the spring too. I can see lube on the ends. A pretty pretty significant amount for a factory lube switch. Oh, okay. It'll focus. They also have lube on the inner post on the outside of the post like how i do it on my tutorial they have a decent amount of lube around the outside of that pole interesting i don't think it feels bad it's just i'm more worried about the consistency but we'll see i mean we have a full board of these so we'll see if they are consistent if it is consistent uh it's not a bad it's not gonna be the end of the world. As long as it's consistent. Okay. 
But these are the chocolate switches. And that's it for here. Let's see what's inside here. Ooh. Okay, looks like fairly standard Epo Maker packaging though. Uh, very nice. Doesn't take up too much space and still protects the board. Cat cam went. I don't know where the cats went. I think they left the room. All right, let's unbox this. Yo, Evan, thank you so much for 29 months. Okay, nice troll. <laughs> nice troll, Evan. How are you doing? Ooh. This is their new keyboard case. Okay, the keyboard does not slip out despite it not being held on the sides. Here we go. There's a... Okay. So, yeah, so the magnet's decent. It's not the strongest magnet, but it's... It's got a... It's got a pull. Oh! Interesting! And then you can fold it like this. Yeah, I'm not, there's no way I'm typing like this. Look at this, look at my wrist. There's no way I'm gonna type like this. <laughs> X Mighty Wanhita, thank you so much for the raid, hello. Yeah, this is a wrist breaker. <laughs> so don't use it like that, but I am curious as to how it'll work with a phone, let's say. So how did they configure this for your phone? Mm, let me scroll up a little bit. So they have it like this. Okay, so they flip it this. Oh! And then my phone goes here. Oh! This is not bad. If you're if you're like trying to work at a cafe, I mean this this could work. For people who carry on an iPad. Phone is backwards? Yeah, I don't, it's because I don't want to leak anything. <laughs> you can have your phone and your iPad. Ooh, that's not bad. I could definitely work like this at a cafe. Interesting. And it is strong enough. So this is the 11 inch. It's not the 12, but it is, oh, actually. Okay, maybe I wouldn't use it like this. Oh my goodness. Okay. The iPad is a little too long. <laughs> you want to, it can handle the phone okay, but iPad, no. <laughs> or you can just have an iPad like this. You chat. This is how you break our devices. Okay. So I can verify this works. The sleeve concept, this multifunctional. Cover. And then this just comes. Ah. Oh. Ah, I see. So there are cutouts. It does have feet. And it looks like this is the low pro model. And then there's cutout divots. Is the actual case metal? Uh, yes and no. So this, this is aluminum here. And then this bottom is ABS. That's very interesting. I think this is how they get around the Bluetooth maybe. Because this does have Bluetooth. So you can't have an all metal housing unless you have a cutout, I guess. But this bottom is ABS. But it's a nice ABS. That's pretty smart, actually. 
because the outer shell is still aluminum. It just has a ABS bottom. There are no ports on the back. You only have a ah, you only have a side port. I guess it makes sense. This is meant to be used with a laptop, and you can just connect it to the side. It would have been maybe nice to have it on both sides though. I feel like some people, depending on their configuration, they prefer one side over the other. I personally don't mind, but yeah, maybe in the next iteration they could add a side port. My face when the port is on the right side. Yeah, I feel like depending on which laptop you use, the port side might matter. And this is the on off switch. Oh, oh, it's on now. Okay, how do I connect this? How do I connect this? Let's pull this out. Bluetooth on off, okay. Uh, Bluetooth 2 mode. Hmm? How do I enter Bluetooth mode? There's too many. Oh, this is this is Chinese. Hmm. Oh, it's flashing. It's flashing. No, my iPad's dead. Hold on. I don't want to leak my phone. Hold on. Wait, it stopped. Flashing? Time to leak things on phone? No, 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 I'm not trying to leak. How do I get this into Bluetooth mode? My phone's not detecting it. Well, it does work. We, uh, we have done Bluetooth in the past. Let me bring my laptop. I want to see if this is actually magnetic. Okay, so say you want to work at a cafe, right? Oh, you know what the nice thing about this too is? Because it has a case, you can just kind of chuck it in your backpack. The sides are exposed a little bit. That's going to protect your keyboard. I was one of those kids who brought their full ass keyboard to school. This is for me. <laughs> okay. So let's remove this. Let's do side cam. And then. So this just sticks. Oh, it's not magnetic. Oh, shh. And you'd work like this. Now you could even use this as a laptop stand. No, that looks wrong. <laughs> Maybe like this? Ooh. Okay, not bad. Hey, how your side cam has very high ISO? Yes, it does have very high ISO because my room is dark. I have a singular light source. My room is really dark. I only have one light. Because I like the dark aesthetic. <laughs> I think that's at like ISO... This camera's at like ISO 2000 right now. It's also It also hasn't been a... I haven't calibrated the darkness. Would you be able to mod it? Yeah, let's open this up. Okay, I will say... I don't think this is a gimmick. I actually kind of like this. I really like this on the Surface Pro as well. Um, 
I never owned a Surface Pro, but I do like these smart covers, smart folio-like covers. I don't know what these are called, but this is pretty nice. All right, should we do a bare type, initial typing test? Without, before opening this board, let's see what this board sounds like. Okay. Let's open predictions. 145, okay, start. All right, let's go. Let's see what this keyboard sounds like first. Stabs are slightly tuned. Straight chroma, thank you for the 10 months. Hero, my dudes, with a two months, thank you. The synergies with the 26, thank you. Yes, the switch thing with the three months. Um, a cow, uwu, with the gift of sub, thank you. Maxi Hawk with a 13. Taste and plate, thank you for the two. D Lo, thank you for the one year. Uh, these do have the, what was it, chocolate brown switches? Chocolate brown. These are the chocolate browns. Angled USB-C would have been the move. Ooh, that would have been nice. Yeah. By default, their short cables are not angled, but angled would have been a nice touch. All right, here we go. This is how loud my mouse clicks are. Right at keyboard level. And this is what this board sounds like with the chocolate Epo Maker chocolate browns. Wilson, just celebrated my birthday. Can I get a cup of PLS? this profile fudge this is this is too flat I don't like flat profile like this <laughs> 127 uh, doubters win I apologize believers <laughs> use the stand uh, stand might make it better, but I don't think it'll fully help. Okay, these are what the mods sound like. There's definitely some lube in here. There's some lube, but it still ticks quite a bit. Say though for a stock switch, okay. I I can I can feel the lube. Uh, it's not a I wouldn't call this a heavy coating, but it's a noticeable coating of lube on the switches. Stabilizers definitely have lube, but I mean this is this is eighty nine bucks. This is not bad. I think it can do Bluetooth. It's all programmable. It's hot swap. It's kind of functional. 
Okay, let's use it at this. We're gonna use it at the intended max height. <laughs> redo, redo, redo. Oh, my wrist is gonna die. One more. At least it's hot swap, you don't have to solder. Yes, you can tune this, it is hot swap. You could easily play, put in switches that you like. This is not ergonomic. <laughs> Let's bring it up monkey type on this scene. <sighs> Pray for my wrists. Prage. Wrist breaker T kill moment? Yeah, this is. Can you replace stab for screwing? We can see. I haven't opened this up yet. This, this is perfect for tape mod. Ooh, tape mod might make the sound pretty good too, yeah. We can try all of those. Um, I mean, there's no underglow on this, so don't need to worry about tape mod blocking any LEDs. It only has uh, per key RGB. Do they have a high profile? Yes, they do have a high profile version. I believe the second unit is probably gonna be that. Here we go. What keycaps did you use? This is the stock keycap set that comes with the Epo Maker NT68. Here we go. Can't do this. This hurts. Who act? Who act? Look at this chat. This only nine percent believed. Why would you guys believe on this? This is, this is absolute pain. <laughs> All right. Let's open this up. I believed. Did you see my wrists? It actually burns right now. This burns. Okay. I. Don't hate this at the moment. Let's open this up. Oh no, I genuinely like this. I feel like having one of these for every form factor, like just a generic form factor one, might be kind of cool. Like if there was a TKL one, a 60% one, 65% one, and then every night before you go to bed, you just wrap it up. It would be nice if there was some side covering. Uh, you could even throw this in like your backpack. Put your own switches in it. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. Uh, well, hold on. Before we do, let's check out this other model. Maybe I want to open this up. I don't. I don't want to open up both. But I do know one of this is the. Oh shoot, okay I lied. This is the high profile, which is misleading. This is the high pro. The low, this is the low pro. Oh, I, this is very skinny. <laughs> Or did they even call this the high pro? Maybe they just called it the regular. I don't know if they called this. Yeah, it's the regular. Okay, it's. I apologize. They did not call this high pro. This is just the regular. Oh, this is the low pro. Wait, the cover is different. I 
I don't like this switch. <laughs> The low pro is very different. This is more chiclet style. But this this case is different too. Why does this not have I am confused. Why this difference? This is the low pro, this is the high pro one. Are they inter interchangeable? Yes. Is there a reason they did not include this? Is this too weak? Can this not sustain an iPad? No, it can't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this won't close it? Mm. You do have some... You do have a gap now. I don't think this is the end of the world having this gap. Mm, is this space saving real? Okay, let's see how much space you actually save. Is it that much skinnier or lower? Okay, it is. It's about half the height. <laughs> I guess if you absolutely need this reduction in height and weight but I kind of like this way better this cover is much more functional I would say maybe this is good for backpacking I'm gonna go backpacking pretty soon and when space actually counts maybe this is that key bit for it all right I am not going to open up this one but this is the low pro version for anyone interested Let's open up this one. Okay, so no visible screws on the bottom or side. It's probably tray mounted somehow. Where's my keycap holder? Look at the cover with the tabs versus the low profile. The low profile looks like the top of the keyboard is the stand for an iPad. You can use the stand as an iPad for either one, I think. Okay, there are those screws. What stabs? Whoa! It uses plate mount stabs. So whoever asked about screw-ins, looks like you are stuck to plate mount stabs on this. Is that an Iron Man mouse? Yes. Next thing you know, Teha got one of those quiet typing in the woods video. Oh, that wouldn't be bad. That's kind of interesting. But you would need to take so much gear out. That would be true ASMR. Typing on my key cult in the woods. No talking ASMR. Beautiful scenery. You hear the birds chirping. You hear the, the mosquitoes buzzing. I'm just on it. I'm just sitting around the campfire and I'm typing away. <laughs> okay. My goodness, there are so many screw holes. There's probably one in the middle, yeah. See one down here. Oh, no, just kidding. I think that is it for the screw holes. Key called by the campfire. Wouldn't you just hear traffic? Not if you go deep in the woods or like actual nature. Brings whole keyboard setup? Yeah. Well, it's not the keyboard setup. It's the the gear that's going to be harder to travel with. Key cult by the river? Yeah. Ooh, the screws are magnetic, though. That is very much appreciated. Actual nature is dead, Sag. What do you mean? Aren't there still preserved nice nature-y places? Yeah, I just bought a bunch of backpacking gear. 
I am committed, chat. I'm hoping I can go at least once or twice a year. I do want to... I do want to be serious about backpacking. Backpacking or camping in general. Because uh, I used to do a lot of nature stuff growing up with my dad. But not so much anymore. Yeah, I want to fish too. Backpacking as in you'll walk to your coffee shop? Please! <laughs> no, I'm going actually into nature. Yeah. I found out I have to buy a poop shovel. Have you guys ever heard of a poop shovel? <laughs> I have purchased my first ever poop trowel for this backpacking trip. I've got to dig six inches into the ground with my poop trowel, take a poop, and then cover it back up. Good old shit shovel. Uh, I think that is it. Hmm. Am I missing more? Ah, there is one more. Dude, I might I might as well just Did you buy any gear yet? Yes, I did. I bought my backpack, water stuff, like filtration. Hmm, this is still stuck. You know what? Where's the last screw? Is there no more screw? <sighs> I trolled myself. There's no more. Pull this apart somehow, then. Bottom screws? No, there's. Oh, do you think they snuck one in here? No, I don't, no, that doesn't, no, I don't think so. What if we, I think I've just got to, really? Would they have done that? Would they have done, under feet? Oh, shoot. Nope. Screws there. No, they're not hiding any screws anywhere. I think I just have to. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's got to be something holding this down still. Maybe I remove all... Do I have to remove all the switches? Let's remove some. Got it. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So how is this PCB stuck here? Oh wait, I'm stupid. It's just held by the switches. <laughs> I'm stupid. It's just held by the switches. I cannot take out this connector for some reason. That's a little scary. I don't wanna. Okay, maybe we won't open it all the way. <laughs> We'll just leave it like this. That connector's in there tight. I don't want to yank it. So this is the bottom. So like I mentioned, this is ABS. Oh, they even have it there. It's ABS. It does come with a battery. Looks like 29 or 3900 milliamp. Or maybe it's just 900 milliamp? It's probably on their Kickstarter page. Uh, what sockets are these? Oh, okay. They are just using Gateron hot swap pins. Gateron hot swap pins. That, this is very busy. Well, this is it. Tape mod time? All right, let's try tape modding this. We can definitely try tape mod. What is this piece of foam here for? It, it does have plate mounted stabs. Yes, it does have plate mounted stabs. And I can definitely tell there's a bit of lube in there. Let's cook some eggs on that battery? No. Uh, oh, I'm behind on alerts, sorry. Day and night, welcome back for nine months. Now that it's been nine months, you better send me toe picks. What do you mean? Charles, thank you so much for the 24 months. New badge, new me. Bang, thank you so much for the two years, Charles. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I don't have a scissor. Scissor. Thoughts on chocolate switches. It is not bad actually so far. They're lubed quite a bit from the factory. But it's so far it's not bad. You should be using paint blue painter's tape. That has less residue. Really? Today I'm learning. Oh no! <laughs> DZ Slider, thank you for the 16 months. Mickey Boy with the 18, thank you. Uh, tofu Delivery Hachiroko with the 9, thank you. Yo, Ethan, okay, buddy, I'm not even gonna read you anymore. <laughs> What's the tape modding for? This helps improve the acoustics. You're gonna have to A-B test it once the stream is over. But this will make it sound deeper to some degree. It varies per board depending on... Yeah, it really varies on the board. Sometimes it doesn't have much of an effect. Sometimes it can have a very big effect. Oh, I shouldn't cover that switch there. Where did you get that strap on your left hand? My girlfriend got it for me. It was a gift, but I think she got it off sense. 
Does he only respond to mods? I do not. Have you tried this on 7v? I don't own the 7v. I did see Tim Keyless's clip though. What kind of tape do you use for the tape mod? I'm just using masking tape. This is just regular masking tape I got off Target. Target. Alright, hope. Ah, oh, crap! There's mounting posts. <laughs> I covered up the I've covered up the mounting posts. No, I think we can just screw through it. Should be fine. <laughs> yes, with that tape. Okay. Yeah, we good, we good. Oh, I feel the tape. Imagine being a professional keyboard player. <laughs> How are you doing, Ian of Earth? Are you still on Clubhouse, Ian? Ian was one of the people I got to meet through Clubhouse. Did you get your modal light yet? I don't think so. Uh, where I can study about my keyboard. What? I'm on Ian, my AB3 gang game. Why don't you buy WoW stick? Uh, I feel no need for an electric screwdriver. Nah, I would be happy to chat and ask questions again, but that died out real fast. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't been on Clubhouse in years. <laughs> Yesterday I bought my first camera because you got me into photography. What? I'm not much of a photography channel, but congratulations. What camera did you get? Can you read my dono? Uh, crap, what, whose dono did I miss? Suspore, it's the 18 months. Let's see. Oh, I see it. Call me Octo. I've been binge watching your live streams for the past four days and thank you others understand so much more about the keyboard and I heavily got into I heavily got into chilling jazz music. Thanks so much and have an amazing stream. Thank you so much for the words. Yeah, it seems like I've converted a lot of people to jazz. I don't know that's very surprising that this many people have not been exposed to jazz. I guess not not surprising maybe all kids listen to nowadays is mumble rap kids grow up listening to gachi a6400 nice i'm kind of wondering if i should pick up a sony a6000 camera again since i'm going backpacking I don't want to carry around my Sony cameras. It's way too heavy. Like all the lenses and bodies I have are pretty heavy for backpacking. I kind of want a smaller cam to just vlog with. Just use your phone. It's not the same vlogging with my phone. Fujifilm baby? Nah. No, I'm this this would be primarily for video. I don't care about the photo. I'm gonna be taking a, my film camera for photo, but I just want video specs. Dude, you're gonna go backpacking twice? No, what do you mean? I bought all this gear. I'm not. I'm gonna go more than twice. I have to for the sake of my money. Want to buy my A6100? 
I think minimum I'd buy probably would be a but I want a flippy screen. Does A6100 have a flippy screen? I know all of the A6000 models don't have a flippy screen. He has a poop shovel? Yeah. Have you thought about doing IRL streams? I would want to from time to time, but I don't think I'd make it my main. Especially in LA where you can kind of tell where someone is. But IRL streaming expensive. You gotta pay for the data plan. You gotta pay for the backpack. IRL streams aren't worth it. Albert and N talked about it apparently. Yeah. It is not worth it at all. It is so expensive. And unless your unless your IRL stream somehow pops off, like it is not worth it. And I feel like IRL streams are the like full-time IRL streamers, I don't know many who do it. The only person I watch is maybe like Joey Chaotic for IRL streams. But that's other than him, I don't know anyone else really. This man's gonna go backpacking with two cameras, a desktop. No, I'm not gonna go with a desktop. <laughs> IRL streams are a great way to get mugged. Yeah, also that too. Imagine asking for IRL streams when we barely get vlogs. What do you mean? I've been vlogging. I have put out vlogs. I put one out last week. Nice main channel videos. They're coming. They're coming. They are coming. Ooh, this is nice. How long are you going backpacking for? For three days. I will be out being one with nature. You know what? Let's tune these stamps. You guys can tell they've shoved, ooh, it's oozing. They've shoved dielectric grease in there or some kind of thick gummy loom. I don't know if I can fully save the ticking, but it might also just be the switch. Oh, there that is. You're gonna get so hungry? I hope so. It'll be a good way to lose weight. Being hungry out in nature. Push-up redemption, you can lose weight. <laughs> I can't do it physically, that's the problem. It's not the expensiveness. I'm the problem. <laughs> what switches are those? These are the Epo Maker chocolate switches. Chocolate browns to be exact. Not a Sigma grind set? What? Mindset weak? Okay, buddy. You're right. 
You're right. Oh, I've been wondering, should I buy a dumbbell set? Because I don't want to pay for a gym membership here in LA. It's pretty expensive. Then you got to figure out parking. I'm going to drive there. I don't want to deal with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not trying to build out a home gym, but at least if I have like dumbbells, I can do something at home. Buy the all-in-one where you change the dial and changes the weight. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Gym membership cost for a year equals dumbbells. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't even need like crazy machines. I just need weights. I guess having a bench would be nice, but I don't necessarily need like a, a workout bench. IOP, five, six. The adjustable dumbbells are pretty sick. The only issue with the adjustable dumbbells though is they don't get that heavy, right? I'm not that strong, but I can, I can lift a decent amount. There's one that goes up to like 80. Oh, it goes up to 80? 80 is pretty good. Power block dumbbells go up to 110. Wait, like the adjustable ones with the dial? Teha, when you do two plates, you will be strong. At my peak, I used to bench two plates. That was my peak. There was a time when I used to bench two plates. Yeah, but they cost one grand. Okay, I'm not trying to spend the grand. No, that is that is too much for dumbbells. <laughs> you can borrow my son for plates? Oh my. Oh no, I passed your peak by 50 pounds. Okay, but I'm not, I never, I was never crazy about lifting. I don't like lifting at all actually. <laughs> Cause I gain, I gain muscle really quickly. So I, I like had spurts of phases where I would grind weight, weightlifting, and I just stop because I don't want to get bigger. I'm trying to get small. Go rock climbing, it's fun, but that also requires me to go out, find parking, and then drive home. And I don't want to get my fingers all. I don't want to get my fingers all calloused. I I have considered rock climbing though, or getting like a rock climbing membership. But I think I'd rather just go to a gym or something. You moved to LA to never go outside. You could have done that anywhere. No, I do go outside, just not for working out. <laughs> I do go outside. Option was here, I think. Insert tab. Hmm. Where does this switch go? Oh, I found it. Going outside to grab coffee doesn't count. What do you mean? I go out for other stuff. Wait a minute. Hold on, chat. Enhance. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh. I think this delete key is facing the wrong direction. Shouldn't it be facing inward? Did they flip that? It's a feature. <laughs> it should be inward, right? <laughs> Why is it alpha color? Don't ask me. Option, command, did I get the bottom right? No, it's control, command, option. Control, command, option. 
Uh, it's not two delete keys. Actually, if it, I really don't know. <laughs> it might be actually. It's literally, it literally deletes to the right. No, that's not how it is. Delete faces inward. As you can tell. All right. We have tape modded this. Is there a difference? Let's open up Casino again. Okay, third time's a charm. I think we can bake 140 on this. Tape Pog. Okay, will the tape plus case, case mod. Delete icon faces to the right on Mac. Uh, I see. Must be a Mac thing then. I actually liked this board until I saw FN was on the box. Well, it's fully programmable. I mean, that's just a keycap legending, but you can't program this. They do have their own uh, switch configurator. Yeah. So you can program it however you want. It's just, it's going to be legended as function. Does it have QMK and VIA? It does not have QMK and VIA, unfortunately. All right, let me pause the music. Point the mic down. Here we go. So tape mod, same switch. Oh, it does have the, ah, uh, I guess we shouldn't. For the sake of AV testing, we won't use the case. Here we go. I can't get over this profile. <laughs> it's so hard to reach row one. I gotta reach so far. <laughs> Why do I ever believe? What was the spread? What was the ratio? 20% believe. <laughs> Which profile? This is their own profile called GSA, but it's just a it's just a uniform flat profile. This is why I dislike f uh, uniform profiles. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm used. To it's also the way I type. Like, I don't have my keyboard. I like to have my keyboard out far. So having that profile hate, uh, it really helps a lot. Are you hating on the profile? I'm just saying it's not my preference. I can't type as fast as I normally do. OK, so this was the the normal version. Let's try taking a listen to the low pro version. Preference is a myth. What do you mean? Ooh. Okay. Let's see how this is. This might be the first. No, this isn't the first low pro I've done. Put some juicy SA keycaps on there. 
I dislike SAT. <laughs> Nathan's brain is a myth? Okay. Where can I get one of those stone bowls you're using? They're from a maker called Je Cheshik. Question for my first custom. Does VIA allow for remapping a function key to caps lock? Yes, assuming your PCB is VIA compatible. What are those switches? These are just Gateron low profile switches. I don't think these are any proprietary. Yeah, it's just Gateron low pro. Oh, I wonder. Oh crap, where'd the keycap go? I wonder what the st stab looks like on this. Oh no! Whoa! That's like a shortened plate mount for low pro. Because you can't use regular stabs for low pro. That's cute. And this is still hot swappable, but the amount of options you have for low pro switches, not as great as regular standard switches. Chantal Giant, hello. All right. This is how loud the mouse clicks are. Oh, wait, wrong mouse. Right at keyboard level. This is how the low pro sounds. Oh, oh this is so weird. <laughs> is low pro the move <laughs> look at this wait chat who is this one percent oh my goodness one percent believed <laughs> one percent dang that's gonna be a fatty payout congratulations to the one percent this is how the 1% lived. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get ratioed? <laughs> how many people is this? Only nine people. Wow. How much they win? 233,000 points got distributed amongst nine viewers. <laughs> Any recommendation on a leather wrist pad for TKLs? I'm not too knowledgeable on wrist rests, unfortunately. Um, leather ones, yeah, I don't really buy wrist rests. Don't really keep up. Isn't the world record for words per minute done on an Apple keyboard? I don't think so. Okay. Let's bring back the music. Uh, I'm not going to go through and open this one up. I think one is fine. This is not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, but 7TV, I have that. No, it should be installed. Mr. James Bardolph, thank you so much for 14 months. Hello. First was the candy bar. Next stream, Tail will make 150 with an Ergodox. No, I don't like the Ergodox anymore. Ergodox is Ike. Not that great of an Ergo keyboard. You just don't have the jade chat or whatever the overlay. Oh, am I missing something? Yeah, all right. So check this out at Epo Maker. I do have the 
uh, the link for it, the Kickstarter link for it in the build command. But I think this is not bad for a beater board option. For any of you guys who like to go out and study at cafes or land parties or other people's, your friends' houses, if you're out a lot, this might tick a lot of your boxes. Bluetooth, pretty compact, especially if you get the uh, especially if you get the low pro version. That's pretty slim, even with the case. You can throw this in your backpack. It has Bluetooth. It's hot swap, so you can put whatever you switch you want. And then this, for those of you guys just tuning in, this kickstand actually kind of works pretty nicely. You can connect wirelessly. They also provide a short USB cable to connect your keyboard to. Not too bad. Also has a phone. Look at this. This is a mobile workstation. Would the server be a place to find someone? Uh, where can I find someone to fix and relube my Tofu 65? Sure, you can ask around, but no guarantees they'll be they'll pro be providing great service. But does other 65s fit in this? We can test it out. This isn't a 65. This is a K. Oh, but it's pretty similar in width. Oh, actually? Oh, but I can't wrap it over. <laughs> it's too thick this way. Yeah, you can't cover it. But you can just harvest. You could just harvest this case. You can just harvest the case. And now you can work. Ah, but this isn't Bluetooth. Oh, does this work without the keyboard? It does. You can use the kickstand without the keyboard on it. That's not bad. Not bad. Please try extreme type. I did. Okay, fine. We'll do extreme typing with, with the low pro model. How are the chocolate switches? They are actually pretty good. Uh, we all opened one of them earlier this stream. It comes factory lewd with something very thick, but it's not too bad actually. Hmm, this one doesn't seem as extreme. This is still pretty bad. Do one more prediction. Be nice to your wrist, wrist, Nathan. You need this. Who needs wrists? Wrists are overrated. You don't need wrists. You just need hands and fingers. Ackerman, thank you for the 15 months. Luca MK with the two months. Thank you. Jason MG with the eight months. Thank you as well. What mouse is that? This is the Final Mouse X Marvel. I'm just kidding. No, this is some. Some cheapo Iron Man mouse off Amazon. Can you try putting some decent switches in? Sure. I don't know if I have a set of lube switches, but we can try it. Let's bring up monkey type again. Did you watch all of One Piece? Yes, I did. Pause the music. So this is completely stock. No tape mod. I haven't typed or tuned anything. Here we go.
No, I can't. <laughs> no, this is this is not the move. <laughs> why why would you guys believe on this? This typing angle is so bad. This should not be an option. I don't know why they advertise this on the Kickstarter. No one's gonna type like this. Unless you're they're a masochist. <laughs> Let's let's check. Let's do let's do something. Hold on. I know what to do. Let's do a durability test. I'm gonna put this keyboard. Put a backpack. What brand is your shirt? Uh, it's my friend's brand called Kyopo. Just throw it? No, no one's gonna walk around with just it. So I'm gonna put this this way because. It doesn't make sense to put it on the side, it's exposed, so let's put it in this way. Let's see if this breaks it. Okay, there's nothing else in the backpack. Here we go. I'm just gonna drop this. One more time, one more time. Or let's say you're you're walking to get coffee. And then oh, oh help! I've fallen and I can't get up. Life alert, please! Alright, is this broken? Moment of truth. Did it break? Oh, monkey type, go away. No, not via. What is going on here? Oh, it's pristine. Other side. Not a scratch or dent. Even after my fat ass landed on the keyboard. <laughs> oh my, you guys already clipped it. Throw it? You think I won't? I'll throw it. Have you moved to LA for your acting career? Yes. I'll throw it. <laughs> okay, the case has, the fabric has taken a beating. <laughs> So the fabric is slightly ripped now. But we did we did give it some manhandling. Does it work? Is the question. You know it's pristine. Not a single scratch or dent. The ABS still has not cracked. Does it work? They ain't sponsoring you no more. What do you mean? This is a live? I am giving them live feedback on the durability of this keyboard. And it has been determined 
this keyboard, this case, this case is very sturdy. Yeah, it still works. I can type, but live QA testing. Yeah, this is live QA testing. Putting this, we're testing out whether this aircraft grade aluminum can actually take a beating. The answer is yes. Now put the K in the case and throw it. No, not. I don't want to risk my K. <laughs> All right. But that is it for this. Overall, pretty nice. Let's see what the price is without the early bird, though. So it's 89. Oh my goodness. 89. Only 10 left for the regular 89 price. Uh, early bird. Oh, 95 is still early bird. So what's the actual retail price? Wait. Oh, there's a cap. Chat, there's a hard cap on this. All of these tiers are limited. I thought this would have been unlimited, but no, it's not. Okay, so I guess this is limited. No cap, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, maybe after the, maybe after everything ships out, they'll have a retail in stock unit, but so far, on the pledging, you can either only unlock the $89 or the $95 tier. Hopefully no issues with this group fly, hopefully too. Have you tried KTT Halu Holo switches? No, I have not. They will probably add some tiers after the sellout. That is true. Yeah. With its four in one cup. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I do have the link for this. Check it out. Type an exclamation build if you guys are interested in this. B part. Oh, almost at 1K. Let's refresh. Huh? Oh. Just kidding. It's not at 1K. <laughs> My soul. Oh, can you make it sound better? We did healthy tofu. We tape modded. So we got sent two units. We tape modded this. And there is a drastic, there, not drastic, but there is an, a noticeable improvement, I would say. Very slight. But this is what it sounds like with stock switches. And this is the low profile. Yeah, I actually like these chocolate brown switches. Um, if I had to guess once again, they're probably made out of Gateron factory. So no surprise, Gateron makes decently smooth switches. They do have some new lube in here that I haven't seen. And it has a decent amount. Um, there are inconsistencies, but at this price point, I don't think it's really something to complain about. Factory lube switches will always be inconsistent. But this is not that bad. The keycaps. The font is okay. I've seen worse keycaps. The, uh, the die sub, is this die sub or? Yeah, it's die sub. The die sub is not too bad either. Maybe the inconsistencies don't stick out as much because the, uh, this isn't a stark contrast. It's not like white on black. This is kind of a grayish on white. So maybe that might mask it a little, but per side aligned mods, yeah, I do dislike that. That is something that you find on a lot of uh, budget-friendly keyboards. I don't like per side line aligned mods. But I mean, for the price, you're getting a pretty decent package, I would say. This is a good beater board to buy a carry around. These colors are not, oh, I should weigh this. I should weigh this. If you don't like the colors, you can always change out the keycaps. No one is forcing you to stick with the stock colors. It is hot swappable too, so you can put in whatever switches you want without having to solder anything. Yeah, it's only a pound 43 or 4.3 ounces. 576 grams. You're a decent package. Okay, Raz. You're a good package. Do you recommend? I do at this early bird price. 
I don't know if they're gonna raise the price after the early bird sells out. Once it starts entering the $100 range, then you're gonna have to start thinking about other options too. But for 89 bucks, I think this is not bad. All right. <sighs> Look how much Ed is screwed over by a sheer misfortune. What is this? Goodbye. I don't understand. The moment he went to pee, Annie raided? Who's Annie? Oh, is that the is that the VTuber he's trying to court? Oh, dang! Maybe they weren't meant to be. Clip it and ship this. Ed, I officially announce you are not meant for Annie. Timing is important for relationships, and this just proves your love was not meant to be on the same timeline. How could you miss her first raid to your stream? Cause you had to go pee pee. Couldn't have held it in for two seconds longer. <laughs> harsh man, I'm dude, it's the harsh truth. Timing is important for a relationship. There might be someone that you're very compatible with, but the timing's not right. That's one reason relationships don't work out. Unlucky, yeah. <laughs> Unlucky indeed. If you're not willing to insert a catheter, you are really... What? Have you tried the Kazoo Boba U4T switches? No, not yet. I do have some waiting to be built though. All right, that is it for today's keyboard content. Yeah, go check it out. Type an exclamation build and it'll take you to the Kickstarter link. Why are my five pin switches loose and flimsy after clipping them? I'm not too sure. Oh, you know what I just realized? I might not be able to build the T1 next week. <laughs> Cause I'm going hiking, I'm going backpacking next week. I don't know if... It'll have to wait until the week after. I'll build a T1 the week after then. Yeah. <laughs> Valorant time? No, no, no Valorant. Bring the T1 and build it to backpack? Okay, buddy. You didn't build T1 on Subathon? No, I did not. I did not. Thoughts on Everglide Aqua Kings? I have yet to try them. I am waiting for them to ship though. I do have some purchased. Did you decide for sure if Bill Q is going to open soon? Do you have a request line? WTF is a T1. It's a small four-factor PC. Nice CS coloring I thought. The I was too drained. <laughs> I do want to play back. Is it back for blood? Have you guys been playing the beta for Back for Blood? I heard there's betas available. I might, maybe Back for Blood might be the game that brings it back. Apparently it's trash. GG, play Genshin? No, I'm gonna wait for Ed. Once Ed comes over to my house, I'll play Genshin with him. Okay, that is it for today's stream. Who is live? Who can we raid? No, don't, dude. I'm where I'm ready to play the gotcha that is Genshin Impact. I heard you gotta spend money. It's a pay-to-win kind of game, right? All right. Do you guys want? Uh oh. There's two keyboard people. Do you guys want to see a G1 F1? Wait, 69. Is this troll? Uh, Mr. Alexatos is live building a Kara. 
We can also raid some musicians, Apex Legend players, CSGO players. What do you guys want? Joran, thank you so much for the 10 months. It's F13 F1. Oh, I see. Did you see Alex's new camera angle? His new camera angle? Uh, I've seen his new lighting. I don't know about his camera angle. Which camera angle? Wait, it just looks standard to me. He just changed the lighting in his room, no? Unless he only brings it out sometimes. We can give Alexa toes. He is building a Kara. Is, I'm gonna guess that's a sequence two. Great Alex Otos. What should our spam message be? How much for Alexa's toes? Teha OMG Teha types. Great Teha keyboard. Alright, have fun in his stream. I know you got a lot of you guys asked about the sequence too. I am not gonna get one because I have the sequence one. But I very much like my sequence one. So go join the sequence two. And he's building a pink sequence two today. Half one in his stream. Uh yeah, no other updates. When's the next stream? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know why they called it Musk. Musk is not a good name, especially for that color. <laughs> but have fun in his stream. Thank you for stopping by today. And I'll see you guys next week. Musk is a flower? What? Oh. I see. I associate Musk with like that heavy smell or Elon. <laughs> okay. Bye bye.